Nothing is better than watching a gripping day of test cricket where the batsmen and bowlers go at each other with full intensity. Says no one. Thanks to stupid millennials or unke stupid smartphones or unke stupid multi screens or unka kul art second ka attention span. <sighs> Ji, main bhi ek millennial hu, but I'm also deeply nostalgic about the way things were. I personally blame the evil geniuses of ICC board members who made the format smaller to squeeze in as much cricket as they could. I need some money immediately. T20 is the most exciting format of the game today. Yes, it may be overly commercialized or bowling ki to lekin it has also attracted new audiences of people who were previously uninterested in test or ODI cricket. Thank you celebrity culture, Instagram aur Facebook ke taun ka. लेकिन जो इन नए नवेले क्रिकेट फैंस को नहीं पता इज दैट देर वर सेवर लेजेंड्स ऑफ द कोट एंड कोट स्लोअर फॉर्मैट्स दैट मेड क्रिकेट एक्साइटिंग एंड कुड इजीली मेड टी ट्वेंटी तमाम गालियां बच्चों की पहुंचे दूर रखें जबान ज्यादा खराब होने की सूरत में अंग्रेजी इजाद स्वेर जार का इस्तेमाल करें इस मालूमती ऐलान के साथ मैं हूँ मोसिन एंड हेयर इज अ लुक एट फाइव क्रिकेट लेजेंड ऑफ द पास्ट हु बिन ग्रेट एट टी ट्वेंटी क्रिकेट नंबर वन विव रिचर्ड 70s or 80s mein a cricket pitch was like the wild west and the fast bowlers were the outlaws jinki hukumat hua karti thi batsmen were the dumb herd too timid to put up a fight lekin viv richards tha ek sakhat londa fearless flamboyant and full of grace he stamped his authority by scoring runs at will against the toughest bowling attacks around the globe and his batting prowess didn't require high quality bats that modern batsmen yield today bhai chewingam chabate the aur bowlers ke chhakke uda dete the literally and figuratively number 2 wasim akram t20 batsmen stand tall today like butchers with their bats like meat cleavers however when wasim akram had the ball in his hand it was the batsmen who were making a constant effort to avert brain damage kitne batsmen honge who can hit sixes at will when the ball moves with a mind of its own like this take that newton einstein physics yes science be it cloudy or sunny conditions न्यू बॉल और ओल्ड बॉल द क्रिकेट बॉल वॉज द स्टॉम ब्रेकर और हमारे वसीम भाई थे थॉर इट वॉज द शेयर अमाउंट ऑफ वेराइटी ही हैड परफेक्टेड दैट अलाउड हिम टू टेक फाइव हंड्रेड विकेट्स इन ओ डी आई क्रिकेट और वो भी विद अ शॉर्ट रन अप ऑफ मीडियम पेसेस पर एप्स द बिगेस्ट टूल इन इज आर्सनल नो पन इंटेंडेड वॉज द रिवर्स स्विंग एक जरूरी ऐलान समात फरमाए वो हजरात जो नहीं जानते रिवर्स स्विंग क्या होती है ध्यान से सुनिए रिवर्स स्विंग is a late movement in the ball's apparent trajectory in air just before a batsman can play it thereby leaving them off guard aapki tawajjo ke liye shukriya besides being a magician with the ball in his hand he was also a decent striker of the ball with a bat yani aerial se pehle bhai dhulai ke liye balla istemal karte the number 3 sir ian botham who was the first english athlete to become a tabloid darling david beckham andy murray actually it was sir ian botham arguably the most flamboyant british sports personality of his era take that you fans of sports that haven't changed botham was a champion all rounder who could change the course of a game in a heartbeat in fact 1992 ke world cup mein he would open the batting for england as a pinch hitter and then would open bowling as a fast bowler what he scored over 7000 runs in international cricket and amassed 383 test match wickets and 145 wickets in ODIs do you know how many current bowlers can boast this claim uh let me guess a grand total of ghanta number 4 kapil dev arguably the greatest indian fast bowler and one of the best all rounders to ever grace the game kapil dev had it all apne waqt mein he was somewhat overshadowed by imran khan sir richard hadley and sir ian botham lekin bhai halka nahi tha Kapil Dev has a total of 400 test wickets, 253 ODI wickets and almost 8000 international runs. Add an ODI batting strike rate of 95 to that record in an era when fast bowlers dominated and he becomes an obvious choice for this list. He was also one of the most successful captains for India delivering their first World Cup win in 1983. Talent and leadership. Ye to multinational companies ka hiring criteria hai bhai. Number 5 Kurtley Ambrose since we are nerds ek aur sawal how does a fielding captain scare the life out of an opening batsman the answer is pretty simple ek 6.5 phute ko ball de den jo apni ghuriyon se hi batsman ko gira de kahin aap dwayne johnson ke bare mein to nahi soch rahe well we are talking about the menacing kurtley ambrose his tall frame allowed him to extract lethal pace and bounce balls which seemed to be full in length would bounce in batsman's faces <laughs> He had the uncanny accuracy to bowl on a line in length that gave batsmen absolutely nothing and allowed him to end his ODI career with 225 wickets and an economy rate of 3.48. 
With these attributes, a fast bowler like Ambrose could wreak havoc in the shorter version of the game. So that's our list. Do you agree or disagree with it? Let us know in the comments below. Share, like and subscribe to our channel.